Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagan Maradian here at the courtyard of the Pentagon, uh, where we're covering DOD Lab Day, an exposition of technology from each of the military services as well as the Department of Defense. And we have with us Second Lieutenant Tyler Brewer, uh, who is a laser defense physicist with the Director of Energy Directorate at the Air Force Research Lab. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, sir. Um, so you are associated with uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, not the TV show nor the gang of people who are protecting the world from mayhem, but rather uh, a, a, a laser defense, self-defense program. Talk to us a little bit about the S.H.I.E.L.D. program, what it is and why it's so important to the Air Force. Yes, sir. The S.H.I.E.L.D. is the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator. This is an advanced technology demonstration that was commissioned by Air Combat Command. Uh, our goals in this are to show that laser technology is matured enough that we can incorporate it into a pod, place the pod on a small tactical aircraft, and improve that aircraft's uh, its survivability by defeating a variety of aerial threats. So what are the types of aerial threats you guys are aiming this on? Is conventional surface-to-air uh, weapons, air-to-air -air weapons, other types of munitions? We're looking into a wide variety of threats uh, and various targets that we can uh, use this system for. Among them, anti-kinetic means that would be aimed at our aircraft. Uh, potentially. Um, talk to us a little bit about, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, laser research that's going on. We talked to the Navy folks uh, who are looking at shipboard laser applications. Obviously, power is not an issue. You're putting that on a large warship that has a large power generation capability. When you're looking at putting it onto um, an aircraft, uh, you know, obviously a large aircraft like a B-2 that's, that's uh, portrayed here has significantly more generation capability. Talk to us a little bit about power generation, power management when you're looking at uh, a system like this. It's, well, one major consideration is that power is finite. And so one of the challenges that S.H.I.E.L.D. is working to um, accomplish is developing a system that is small enough and efficient enough that it can be implemented on a small tactical aircraft in a pod structure. Um, so that we can effectively run this system. And how large of a pod are you guys shooting for this uh, to be? Because small is in the eye of the beholder, right? What's small for a B-2 is gigantic for an F-16. What kind of uh, form factor are you looking at? Well, we're not actually looking at B-2s. Uh, unfortunately, the placement behind us is coincidental. Um, we're, <laughs> we're looking into a variety of smaller tactical aircraft. Um, you know, previous programs have been on 747s or C-130s, and so we're looking to implement it on an aircraft that is significantly smaller than that. So fighter-sized aircraft. We're looking into a variety of small aircraft. Do um, do you know everything about? All the programs here are about trying to push capability uh, to the warfighter as quickly as possible. What sort of time frame are you guys shooting for when it comes to fielding something operational? We're going to be conducting realistic flight testing within four years. And that's with a high energy laser conducting full scale tests in realistic uh, supersonic and subsonic flight environments. When you're talking about the size of the laser, what sort of power class laser are we talking about here? We're still in source selection for that specific contract, so we don't know what exact type of laser this system will use. Uh, we should be finding that out here in the next several months as we conclude that source selection. So I can't speak to or speculate on the power of the laser itself. So not, not, even, not even just giving me a range of what sort of between what bookends this sort, sort of falls between. Uh, we're designing a system that will be able to execute hard kills on various targets. Um, so we are looking for something that will be strong enough to uh, potentially melt a circuit board or destroy optics, maybe disable control surfaces on the various targets. Great. Thanks very much. Great talking to you. Best of luck on the program. Thank you, sir.